Hi, so I was just getting ready to um, put together my presentation for ELC and I wanted to put together a, a quick little demo of uh, my uh, BeagleBoard environment where I'm using Cloud9 IDE to develop uh, JavaScript applications on the BeagleBoard and interface with the, the features here on the board, um, you know, the hardware features at a, at a low level and, um, and then stream data back um, uh, to the to the web browser to provide the the user interface. Um, so what I've got running here again is this uh, it's a Cloud9 IDE. It's a JavaScript uh, development environment where you can um, you actually edit the code that is living over here on the BeagleBoard. That's where the the web server is running. That's where all the code is is at. So when I edit the code here. Um, you know that's that's editing the, the my web server on the BeagleBoard. Um, so if I just go ahead and hit stop, you'll see um, my this whole display has has stopped. Um, and over here, this is actually the um, essentially a, the second web server that's that's hosting that other other web page. Um, so there's one web server that has the editor itself, and then another web server um, that's it's storing the web page that, that's being displayed. Um, and in that web server, I'm invoking um, the A record command to capture audio data, and then I'm doing a client send over Node.js's socket IO library. Um, so I want to go ahead and run that server. And then here I'm browsing over the USB connection to the Beagle board. It's an IP over USB connection. Um, I'm going to load up that web page. It's going to tell me that it got connected. Um, and here I'm using Processing JS. Uh, processing JS is uh, like the, the, the Java uh, processing language, but it's a JavaScript implementation. So that's running here within the browser on my, on my PC. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm just taking that, that data as it comes in, and I'm just doing a, a, a quick little draw line. Um, and I'm just feeding in audio data um, from my, my media player here um, and just just capturing that on the beagle board um, so I think that's that's a pretty neat little example of doing a real-time data collection um, with a with a beagle board and um, streaming it over a web server and then using a web browser for the the, the, the display rendering